What's happening, everybody? All right, so a question that I get time to time is, why do I not run catch cans on the Hellcat? Well, let me show you guys something. I want you all to take a look at that snout. Look how clean it is. Absolutely no oil residue anywhere. If you look all the way to the back on the vacuum side where the feeder is right here, that's where, that's where the PCV circuit starts. That is always under vacuum at cruising and idle. And if you look back in there, there's just no oil being drug around at all. Nothing being drugged through the snout. Man, you could get in there and lick that. No issue whatsoever with blow by or dragging oil through that system, through the intake system. Looking at the throttle body, this is the front side. That's your back side. That rag right there represents about as much soot as I wiped off of this thing. Again, throttle body also clean. One thing I will recommend to you guys, though, is about every, I'd say, 15 to 20,000 miles, pull your throttle body off and clean it. What can happen is that little soot ring can make a ridge, and that can, over time, create an issue. can cause a throttle to stick uh, if it's severe enough. And obviously, you know, if you've got something in the way of the air, that's not going to help anything either. One thing I want to caution you on, though, do not be tempted to use, or you may be tempted to use, brake cleaner. I don't do that. What can happen is, especially if you have a chlorinated brake cleaner, it can eat the finish up on this aluminum. And what will happen is, is it'll just start to deteriorate. It's the equivalent of rust, and that's not what you want, obviously. So get the right cleaner, which is just a throttle body cleaner. It's just a less aggressive version of brake cleaner in essence but again don't use brake cleaner so i'll walk you through the circuit and how this system in essence works so under partial throttle vacuum scenarios this portion of the snout is going to be under vacuum and in fact this entire portion inside of here is under vacuum and is drawing air at all times lid bricks and obviously into the cylinder head that's where the pressure is going to be when you're under boost if you're not under boost then you're just basically in essence a naturally aspirated engine so to speak that's the way it's going to act so vacuum all the time here vacuum circuit or pcv circuit is going to draw air through the crankcase and this is where it's going to breathe in from now you may notice a little bit of oil residue on that portion of the circuit that's not to be unexpected i mean this thing is attached to a valve cover and so that is the draw side so it's actually drawing from your boot right here that's the draw side you'll see a little bit of oil residue there now under boost both sides are going to be venting into your snout and into the portion of your supercharger which is drawing air so under boost both sides are acting as crankcase ventilation the reality is this is this ends up being really more just condensation than anything else and like i say if it were a lot of oil or if there were a lot of oil you would see it dragging oil across the top of that snout and again there's just literally nothing there by the way, if you're looking to you know, swap throttle bodies or clean your throttle body, what have you, tools that you're going to need might need one of these uh, pushpin forks. There's a little Christmas tree on the throttle body. But aside from that, this is a Torx. It's a T25. That's going to be for the throttle body. And then, of course, your trusty 8 millimeter to get the lid off your air cleaner. Oh, yeah. While I was here, I did mic the snout. It is exactly 95 millimeters. And I mean, it is a tight 95, not like 95 in a little bit. And then the throttle body itself is also 95. But again, it is a very tight 95, not like 95 and change. It's like a hard 95. You can almost call it like 94.8 for both of them. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. If you're thinking about doing this, it's super easy. Cannot wait to get this light out of your eyes. 
Can't wait to get the new throttle body in. We're gonna be doing some track testing with that. It's a fast man, 95 millimeter throttle body. Will it work? Will there be any pickup? Will it gain anything at the drag strip where it counts, where it matters? Only one way to find out, but getting the car ready, throttle body should be here tomorrow. We've got a drag strip, we got a throttle body. Let's do some data logging and see if we can get any mile an hour ET or what we're gonna get out of it. After that, we're gonna try a JLT cold air. Uh, batting about 500 on that, whether or not it's gonna actually pick up power. Uh, but it should sound good if nothing else. So if anything, it'll be a fun project. But there you go. Gonna button her up and get her ready for tomorrow. And that's a wrap. Y'all have a great one.